Welcome to Media Arts Skill Building Exercise number two. In this exercise, we're going to learn about how to source images in Google Drawings. So we have a set of directions over here and we have an empty canvas in front of us. The first direction is to watch the how-to video, which is what we're doing right now. The second step says to insert a city road or a country road, and it tells us what to do. It says go to insert, choose image, and then choose search from the web. When I do this, a little prompt up here will let me search for things. So I'm going to type in city road, and then it gives me all sorts of city roads that I could pick from. Or I can choose country road, and it's going to give me all sorts of country roads that I can choose from. So I'm going to choose a city road. And once I have a city road that I like, what I can do is click and drag it over to my canvas. So I'm going to click, drag and release, and just wait a second. And it puts it right there in the center of my canvas. Now I can make it a little bit bigger if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we've got all sorts of people walking around over here. So I'm going to exit out of this because I don't need to look at it anymore. Now my second direction, excuse me, my third direction says insert a person on the road. Okay. So it tells us to go to insert and choose image and then search the web. So we know how to do that. We just did that a second ago. This time, though, it says type in the search words for a person and add the word transparent clip art after it. So we have to add this word transparent and this word clip art after it. Then place the image you choose on the canvas. So let's go back up here to insert. Let's go to image. Let's go to search the web. So now we're going to search for, let's search for a boy. And then I have to type in transparent clip art. Do you see that? I type that in. You have to type in the whole thing. B, and I'll show you why. Let's say I just search for boy. It's going to give me lots of pictures of boys, but watch what happens if I click drag and release. Now I just have a picture of a boy on top of a picture of a city street, but it doesn't look like the boy is walking on the street or part of that environment, does it? We want it to look like the boy or girl is part of the environment. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to type in the words transparent clip art. Really important that you do that. Click enter. Now I have all sorts of boys that I can pick from to be on this city street. And we're going to make sure that we choose appropriate images for school because we want to make sure that we're doing the right things for school. I could change this to girl transparent clip art and I get all sorts of girls. Same thing. We're going to make sure we choose appropriate images. So I like this image right here of this girl. So I'm going to click drag and release. And she's a little too big, so I'm going to make her smaller, right? And I'm going to have her maybe right here. Maybe she's standing right here by this trash can, okay? I could put her anywhere. She could be in the crosswalk if I wanted, but that seems a little dangerous because there's cars. So I'm going to put her right here, all right? And then I'm going to exit out of this. So step number four says add some details using different Google drawing tools. So this is where you get to have a little bit of fun. So there's all the tools that you learned about in the first skill building exercise. You have all these line tools, you have all these shape tools, you have color tools, you have scribble tools. So you can use that. You also could search for more images. So maybe you want to have more people in this picture, or maybe you want to have a certain kind of car in this picture. You could do all of that as well. It's really up to you. So I'm going to add some details and come back and show you what I added. Okay, so here's some more details I added. I added a boy with a soccer ball. I added a car driving down the street. And then I wanted to have some fun. So I have this dinosaur that's walking through the city as well. Because why not, right? I'm the artist. I get to do fun things. So it's up to you to add what you want. I did want to show you one more trick. Let's say I want this boy waving in the other direction or looking in the other direction. I just click on him. And then I act like I'm making him skinnier, but I just keep going. And if I keep doing that and I let go, I can flip them or him around and have it look like he's looking in the other direction. So again, I just click, drag, and release, and there he is. All right, so step number five says turn your work into your teacher.
Thank you so much for listening to Media Arts Skill Building Exercise number two.